But yeah, there's no such thing as a James Hong. Unless it's this one. But no. Where is everyone? Why am I the only one not muted? Like, I was, I was talking this whole time and I thought that my mic wasn't muted. Sorry. Oh, I think we're live. Oh, we are. Oh, hi everyone who's watching so far. We are just going to wait for everyone to join because oh. we'll start in five minutes. <gasps> wait, how do I? I need to go to this link. I don't want to listen to myself. Amy. Oh, hi, Nat. Um, let's see who else said hi. Can someone send me the link, please? It's on the face. It's on the Facebook page. Hi, Oliver. I know, but I have so many tabs up right now. It's not my problem. <laughs> I'm kidding. Fine, I'll send it to you. Tell everyone I said hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> How bad is the lag right now? I don't know. It's not lag, it's called delay. Sorry, same thing, right? No. There's a huge difference. I said hi! Anyways. Nate, hey, uh, just keep up with like the, the poll and stuff? Yeah, actually, the poll? Oh, okay, I gotta go open everything on my other screen then. Um, okay. <clears throat> oh, look at all these names. Oh my gosh. Where is Charlene? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so I'll be um, kind of doing this while you guys are talking. So it shouldn't be that bad. Um, hey, Sarah. Doing this while you guys are talking. So it shouldn't be that bad. I hear an echo. Come on, Josephine. What? I heard an echo. Are you on the live stream, maybe? No, it's. I thought I heard it from you. Oh, there's a 30 second delay. Why is that so long? It's cold, guys. It's very cold. Okay, so where's Char? I don't know. Is she? Did she go? Can, can we call her? <laughs> Charlene. Should I call her right now? Um, she'll be back. Don't worry. Okay. Well, if she's not back in like two minutes. I'm gonna call her. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let me um, put the... So how, are, how is everyone doing? So many friends! Should I put the sign-in link in the comment real quick? Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get that started. So that um, we don't have to rush at the end. Yes. Um, so if everyone's just coming in for the first time, don't forget to fill out our poll. It's in the event page that Charlene posted this morning. Yeah. And that will get you an additional entry into our giveaway. Yeah, so should I put the sign in link in the live chat? Yes, do that. So it oh. should be tinyurl.com slash friend sign in. Oh. Oh. Is that what it is? 
Yeah. <laughs> Oops. I, I just put that in the chat real quick. Uh, it's not a hyperlink, so that's why I'm like, oh. Hey, Char's back. Okay. Um, I'm a little too excited for this. Charlene, we're live right now. Live. <laughs> Hello. I, hi, friends. How are you? Sorry. I had big sister duties. <gasps> Staying hydrated. Staying hydrated. How's everyone? How water is. Currently sponsoring oral surgery. <laughs> so, hi, Aya. So I'm saying hi to the president of UNLV Circle K. Hi, she's my president. All my friends love boneless watermelon. Okay, thank you for that fun fact, Lawrence. Wait, hang on. How are y'all doing tonight? Yeah, so we could start whenever, guys. Okay. Um, maybe give it a, just like a minute or two. Computer's being all weird. Damn, we have so many responses so far. So, whenever you guys want, let's go. Okay. So, 73 people. I think we're ready. Okay. Okay, guys. Hello. Good evening. Welcome to our first member led like webinar. Um, I'm one of your hosts for tonight. I'm Charlene. And today we'll be learning how to make friends and um, you know, learning how to like make long distance friendships and as well as um, you know get that get that ball rolling guys. Hey shout out to my Dio <laughs> okay <laughs> So um, don't forget to sign in. Uh, the link is on the screen. So yeah, we could just have it here for a little bit. Yeah, give you guys a little time to sign in. Meanwhile, say hi to people, I guess. All right. Mm -hmm. So hello. Is it doing that? Okay, it's fine. Only nice messages, people. <laughs> yes. Positivity. This is a fun, positive webinar. Okay. Um, let's carry on. Okay. So we'll be starting off with some introductions. So one of your co-hosts for today is Métis Van. She also goes by Meerkat because she loves meerkats. And her favorite food is tonkatsu ramen. She is a CIS slash CS major at Pasadena City College. Okay, so some fun facts about May is that she used to be a former motivational speaker and I emphasize on former because she quit that her company changed their name to Be Lit. So done. <laughs> In her free time, she also likes to collect boba bottles. So whenever she goes to a boba place and they have really nice bottles, she'll get like 10 of them and store them in cupboards in her kitchen. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. And also, if you're wondering what does like May, like, T and May T Van mean. It's literally just a T. Her middle name is only one letter long. Another fun fact about May T Van is that she can't go to sleep without socks on. And she always has to have a video call before she goes to bed. Somewhat true, not really, but somewhat. Well, now it's become like a routine, so 
basically it is true. Okay. And also, other than collecting boba bottles, she has a knife collection. <laughs> Knives and boba bottles. Um, another thing about me and May is that we both go on what we like to call Food Frenzy Fridays together. So every third Friday of the month, we go and get food together, even though we're like, 400, 500 miles away from each other. 465.3. Oh, shoot, sorry. <laughs> we still find time to eat food together. Yeah, and speaking of food, May and I both love gelato. Those are very extra and fancy. And if you would like, you can scan that snap code and add May on Snapchat as well as add her on Facebook. This will be up very shortly, so do it now if you would like. Okay. Carrying on. So we have our next um, next host. It's Josephine Montesino Molina also known as Kanga, because she loves kangaroos. And her nickname is Joey, which is a baby kangaroo. Um, Josephine's favorite drink is water. She has some water with her right now. Uh, every time she goes to the kitchen, she gets a cup of water. When she comes home, before bed, when she wakes up, like she's always drinking water. So she's also a liberal studies major at Folsom Lake College. Yeah, uh, a fun fact about Josephine is she has a Siamese point lynx cat named Pogi, and Pogi means handsome in Tagalog. So other than drinking water and staying hydrated, she's very, like, very keen on her dental hygiene, so Jojo flosses every night. Um, Josephine is allergic to beef jerky for some reason. She's okay with, uh with beef, it's just beef jerky. Yeah. And she wants to live in a tiny house and or own a large farm, but she doesn't want a tiny house on her large farm. <laughs> um, a fun fact about me and Kanga is that we drive the same car. And also Josephine and I are obsessed with Jane the Virgin. Hashtag Team Raphael. If you watch Jane the Virgin, comment which team are you on, Team Michael or Team Raphael. Yeah, and just like before, if you guys want, uh, add her on Snapchat or add her on Facebook. Okay. Hang on. Um, so this is Charlene Mateo Sullivan, also known as Jackal because her favorite uh, animal is dogs. Yes, her favorite animal is dogs, specifically corgis, because they have big butts, <laughs> and they're very cute. <laughs> um, so she currently studies biology with a minor in psychology at uh, University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Fun fact about Charlene that you have to know is that she's been seeing since she was four years old, and if you've never heard her sing, she's really, really, really good. So hopefully you have the chance to get to know her and maybe she'll sing for you. Yeah, um, Charlene is obsessed with Kate Spade from Kate Spade um, bags to phone, I mean, to laptop cases, to passport holders. She's like decked out. My glasses are Kate Spade. Yeah. That's right. She's obsessed with Kate Spade. Not only is she obsessed with Kate Spade, she's also low-key addicted to makeup. Um, and one time at Sephora, she single-handedly purchased $300 worth of makeup. Because she's crazy like that. But, but we still love her. <laughs> <laughs> um, Charlene enjoys long walks on the beach, even though, though the closest beach to her is about eight hours away. Yes, she lives in a desert, guys, if you didn't know. Um, and then another thing about Charlene is that she loves to collect You Are Here Starbucks mugs. And she has a pretty good collection going so far. She has mugs that are from California, 
San Diego, Utah, San Antonio, Edmonton, Taipei, Michigan, and Las Vegas, and hopefully she will collect more. And fun fact about me and Charlene is that we are both Filipino. Oh, uh, fun fact about me and Charlene is that we have iPhones so we can FaceTime each other without Josephine. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Um, and then if you would like, there is Charlene's snap code as well as your Facebook and her Instagram. So when it's in a lifetime opportunity, go at her. Yes, to add this cutie. Okay. All right. And in more about us, this is our friendship. So uh, we are all located in different places. I live in Sacramento. Charlene lives in North Las Vegas, and May lives in Los Angeles. And as you can see, it makes a boot. Yes. Um, we are all sleepy theories, which is why we were all sleeping in our pictures before. Mm -hmm. We also cry a lot. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> sleepy theories. Shout out to Caitlin yes. for naming us. Also, uh, <laughs> We we actually met through Caitlin. So Josephine and I are um, pen pals on our first round, and May added me on Facebook, and we just started talking. And so, yeah, that's how that's how our friendship started. Okay. Yeah. So if you guys haven't already, please take this poll. Uh, the link is somewhere. I don't know where I'm located on your screen. But <laughs> it's somewhere. Um, it would help us out a lot if you guys could do that. And you get another entry if you fill this poll out. So please do. Yes. Or not. But I mean, I mean, I mean if. Yeah. Take this poll or not. <laughs> Did yeah. anyone tell you guys why our theme is Gudetama? <laughs> We're yeah, excellent. So fact, just to give you some time to fill this poll out. Okay, it's because one day I was bored out of my mind and I decided to watch a Gudetama documentary on YouTube. So I started putting Gudet I put this, um, that first, that Gudetama was the first one and we decided to just make it our theme throughout the entire presentation and it just worked so yeah. hope you guys like it uh, let's see so, yeah carrying on okay we will go right into our presentation um so the first thing you should know about making friends is when you strike up a conversation you should uh, ask questions. Uh, questions are a very important part to the conversation because it directs the flow and it um, it steers the conversation wherever uh, the questions are going. <clears throat> and when um, asking these questions in conversation, it's really important to be responsive. So you don't want to just have, when you, you meet someone for the first time, you don't want it to just be like a Q&A session. Because um, that's no fun. You want it to be a really, you know, in-depth, deep discussion um, between you and the other person so you can really get to know them. So uh, instead of, you know, just answering the question, um, go even deeper and answer with another question so that you can get to know the person more on a deeper level. Yeah, like when you ask these questions, go with the flow. Like don't expect the conversation is going to go to point A when you're like talking about dolphins and then all of a sudden you start talking about the Illuminati and how Beyonce is part of it. You just don't know where everything is gonna go. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, so just go in the direction of the conversation and don't expect it to always go as planned. Like, are you socially awkward? Like try to find something you both have in common, like, Circle K. Circle K is a great starter for you guys to talk about. And then you can just like go from there. Okay. Yeah. So um, for maintaining friendships. So this is kind of the harder, 
harder part of me this whole webinar um, is communication and we all know that we have to communicate um, in order to maintain friendships but this is obviously um, easier said than done especially if we're talking long distance um, but with technology you know nowadays it's a lot more easier to communicate and so we should use that to our advantage um, and set, just set up time with each other to regularly communicate and just um, just constant communication is key when you um, really want to maintain your friendships. Even just a simple text message asking how the person is doing and just checking up on them um, is really, really, really important. Okay. And um, the second thing you should keep in mind when maintaining a friendship is to be there for one another. Uh, sometimes the best thing we could do is lend an ear because there's so much going on, especially since we're college students and we have school and we have family and we have friends and there's just so much going on in our lives. Um, sometimes feelings get pent up so we can let uh, them go just by talking to someone. So hopefully you guys lend an ear to someone. And also when you're maintaining these friendships, it's always, it's like any regular relationship, you have to commit. Um, commit to spending like time together, even though it's just like a Google Hangouts or a simple text message. As long as you keep that constant communication, like um, that, that is like good, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely show commitment to each other. And also schedule time together. Um, so uh, again, talking long distance, um, it's good to have something to look forward to when um, you guys are trying to maintain your friendship. Um, like for example, with, with me and May, uh, we have our <laughs> Food Frenzy Fridays. So that's kind of fun um, to look forward to. Um, and just kind of having a rough idea of when you guys are going to meet or what you're going to do, just planning something ahead um, is is also really good. And just scheduling time again to um, check up on each other and have a conversation is really important. Yeah. Um, something that you guys should definitely keep in mind, and I do stress this, is know your limitations. Um, sometimes it's hard to say no especially if your friend's really excited about something or they really want you to do something um, with them or do something for them. But if you're really uncomfortable, then just say no. A true friend would really understand. And if you just explain to them why you're feeling the way you're feeling and uh, kind of work through it together, then maybe you guys could come to a compromise or something. And don't give in to peer pressure, guys. Yeah, don't do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Um, this one we're kind of we're gonna get kind of serious now. It's how to deal with social anxiety and social awkwardness. We want you guys to know that um, overcoming social anxiety is different for everyone, and we want you guys to know that um, everyone has to take care of their mental health, especially with our like our DSI is about mental health or like our personal health. It's very important to have this kind of topic to be brought up. And so if you're, see, if you're in distress, um, like if you're, if you're just kind of nervous about things, don't be afraid to like seek for help. If you're, if you're in a board, um, go and talk to your board. Like I'm pretty sure they're gonna be there for you or talk to your friends. Like there are times where I'm feeling so down and sad and I have Josephine and May and have my board to talk, like to back me up. So just like have that, um, have that solid foundation, guys. Yes. And also, when we're talking about social anxiety, this is actually different than social awkwardness. And social awkwardness, I think everybody kind of has this um, because we're all different people. We all have different personalities. So we're all, you know, not always going to match up with each other. Um, and uh, we're going to have some sort of, you know, awkwardness, but that's okay because Circle K is amazing. Um, like for me, I consider myself to be kind of an awkward person, but Circle K, I know, like we really embrace everybody here. So if you feel kind of uncomfortable in a certain setting and you just don't know how to interact with people and um, 
you, you just need some help navigating your way through that, it's always great to have a friend with you or just someone that you know you can rely on to um, be there for you and you guys can just go through it together and meet people um, and you can bring the friend that you've made after watching this webinar and applying everything that you've learned with you. Heck yeah. 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 <laughs> so um, dealing with long distance friendships. Um, so it's important that you and your friend both make time for each other, uh, either uh, through texting, calling, uh, video chats, communication is not that hard. Um, I mean, back in the day, they used to write letters, right? Uh, Use it during, snail mail. Yeah, <laughs> snail mail. <laughs> during these, um, for, or whatever form of communication, uh, it is important that you guys keep each other updated about new things. It can be as simple as a new haircut or as juicy as a new crush. Um, or for guys, I don't know, you guys could talk about that too, I guess. Um, or you guys could talk about like classes or something. Just keep each other updated. Yeah, it, it, this doesn't apply to just women because, you know, gender equality, guys. <laughs> We're not biased. <laughs> um, but yeah. Gossip. <laughs> okay, so why does all of this matter to you? Well, not only do you need friends to obviously be a functioning adult, but uh, the thing, the unique thing about being in Circle K is, of course, that we get to meet and connect with so many members from across the CNH district, and that is why you know fellowship is our one of our key tenets um, is because of this, and um, it's important that we we kind of take all of this in, you know, the chance to go to district events and meet people um, and use it to use it to our, to our, our benefit, to benefit us and to get the most out of our Circle K experience. And so by making and maintaining these connections, people can really benefit um, from, from their friendships. And um, so, like, it's nice to have a community um, every anywhere you go so like I know that if I'm in the LA area I can count on May to be there for me and show me around and if I'm in Las Vegas I can hit up Charlene and she'll be there for me so it's it's really fun so if whether you've been in Circle K for a long time or you're a new member that's always something to look forward to is meeting new people yeah um, so things to remember is uh, don't forget to be yourself. If you're not true to yourself, then you can't be true friends with anyone. Um, a true friend will really uh, accept you for who you are, whether it be like that really weird person who likes to yell, or they'll just accept you for all your little like quirks and maybe even do them with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Shade is going on this chat. Yeah, uh, sure. So a smile. I'm just like oh, this chat, man. Um, so <laughs> a smile can light up the room, you know. So you never know if someone just needs a smile to make their day. Like for example, you have like a new member, like sitting in their corner, just like not doing anything because it's a new member. Like approach this person, give them a smile, tell them hi, like how are you doing, and so like. Send me smiley emojis on this chat. Um, like it's 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 a good thing to like get that smile. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just um, <laughs> this chat. I got distracted. Um, okay, we've talked about this before, but we want to reiterate it again because it's really important. Is communicate um, with your friend. Um, Friendship is not not a one-way street, it's a two-way street. So um, you don't want to have one friend putting in more effort than the other person, and that's not never fun. You don't want to be on that other end. Um, so just really show uh, your commitment to each other through communication. Um, and again, just regular, constant communication with the other person um, is key. But you know, don't, you know, 
just hound them. <laughs> uh, but just show, show the, your appreciation for them and show that you care about them. Okay, guys. So if you met someone and you guys started off as friends and then you started to like someone more than just a friend and they don't reciprocate back, that means you're stuck in the friend zone, guys. And it's okay. It's totally okay to be part of the friend zone. Maybe she's not that into you. Maybe he only sees you as a friend. It's totally fine. If you just want, like, why would you ruin a friendship? Because you're just like, oh man, she rejected me. God, oh, tears, tears, tears. It's okay, guys. It's okay, just be friends. <laughs> Yeah. Um, another thing to keep in mind is it's not about how many friends you can count. It's about how many of those you can count on. Like, for instance, I know this sounds really weird, but I have over a thousand friends on Facebook and um, I don't talk to all of them. Oh, big surprise. Um, but like two, I could name two people out of that like thousand plus that I can count on, which are these two. And I just wanted to... Uh, Give a shout out to all my friends out there, but uh, especially to these two because they've um, been there for me through like a lot and I rant to them every single day about something random, whether it be um, too much salt on my food or, or how sweet my popcorn is that I made. <laughs> um, for some reason, they still listen to me and I just wanted to say thank you guys. Love y'all. Love you too. Oh man, I wish we can do a giveaway right now. Giveaway! Oh, Wait, giveaway. Did someone say giveaway? <gasps> giveaway! giveaway. <gasps> they were all thinking it. I know, right? So, um, how to enter is show up and sign into this webinar. Uh, we showed the link earlier. I think we got everyone so far um, on my master list here. Um, um, and oh, yeah, make sure you sign in. Yes, make sure you sign in. Um, but yeah, just uh, make sure you guys sign in so you guys could be uh, eligible to win either a Starbucks gift card or a mystery prize. Which one are you going to choose? Um, <laughs> Ooh. Yes. It's a good one. It's hard. Um, but while May gets that set up, we will take questions now. Yes. Other questions? Um, so, uh, we had our poll, so we have some questions. Oh my god, there's a lot. Oh. <laughs> there's a lot of questions. Uh. Um, but if you guys have questions in the live chat, you can uh, put those in too. We will look at those. No, you cannot get free tuition. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We too um, broke for that. But, oh, and also something we're doing is that if you would like to call in, we will take your question first if you call in. Um, you can call the number on your screen. <laughs> That's 626-678-1740. Um, and we will take your call. And I think that's a fun way to uh, have a very interactive conversation with each other. Um, but if nobody has questions, we will take the ones on the poll. Yeah, I don't think anyone's going to. Where do you, uh, they're asking, where do you sign in? Oh, I You can sign in. Go to the first screen, or the, the Oh, slide. the first slide. Already, I'm putting in the chat. Uh, Darlene will also put in the chat, but I guess we could do this then. They'll Oops. look out for her name. <laughs> oh, oh, you don't know all these so questions? I got a call. I wonder who this is. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Wrong number. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> hey. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. That's good. <laughs> what is your I question? Delay, so this is really weird. <laughs> so what's your question, person? <laughs> I want to know what the sign is, person? but it's already been taken care of now. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. Okay. There, does he have another question? Do you have another question? Uh, no, it's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, thank you for calling in, person. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I guess. But let's see. So I saw a really good question on the poll. 
um, about how to balance me time and your friendships. So why don't we start with that? Yes. Okay. So I think that when you try to balance me time and just your um, like me time, having spent spending time with friends, I think that you guys um, like like we said before, like know your boundaries and know your limitations. Um, I have I'm fortunate, fortunate, unfortunately, I'm very um, I'm I'm an introvert. I like to stay at home like a lot, and I'd rather I'd rather just like sleep on my bed and just like watch YouTube videos. Um, but there are times where I do hang out with my friends and my friends understand that they either like, like, Hey, let's go hang out. Or they're like, Hey, let's go hang out. I tell them like, Oh, I'm, I'm not, I'm busy. And they're like, Oh, okay. So I think you should just like have, if you have that kind of friends that like respect that you want to spend time with yourself and have like, um, have a personal time, then those are the friends that you need to, look for or strive for or if you already have them well lucky you yeah and also just with anything when we're talking about balancing stuff just knowing your boundaries and setting your boundaries and staying true to those boundaries um, is really important so if you you feel like you need time to yourself then you should definitely prioritize um, that you you come first obviously so um, and if you emphasize that to your friends then they will they will respect that. Like, if someone says that to me, I will definitely respect that too. And like we were saying before, just um, know your limitations, and you don't always have to give in to pressure about you know hanging out with people. If you just want time to to yourself, that's really important. And I feel like everyone should take time to themselves. I feel like we don't do that enough, and so that's really important. Yeah. Um, but again, don't is isolate yourself too. Um, yeah. Even so though that's really important, you do. Um, you should make time to go. Out. Yeah. So just a a little tip for me. I don't know who else would do this, but I'm crazy enough to. I actually cut into my sleep time by waking up a little earlier to um, watch Netflix or play a video game, so I could have a little more time to myself. And that's only about twenty to thirty minutes earlier, um, where I can just really relax before I start my day. Yeah. So there's this question that's all on the on the chat from Chester. Okay, so how do, so he said, how does one coordinate a fashionable outfit? Well, okay, Chester, this is how you coordinate a fashionable outfit. Oh. <laughs> Preferably, <laughs> stay monochromatic. Um, you have, like, make sure your clothes fit, not too baggy and not too tight, and you're good. And confidence, confidence is key. Yes. Yeah, so, it Fashion is kind of subjective. Just just go with whatever feels good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but appropriate too. I mean, we got to take social norms into consideration. But like, just just do you. Just do you. <laughs> oh. Actually, here's a pretty good question. Um, how do you hang out with friends without spending money? Ooh. Ooh, that's a hard one. Oh, wait, can I go? Can I go? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, let's see. Guys, I know it's hard. Like, you will always want to go out, and whenever you go out, it feels like you it requires spending money. But no, you can have fun, free entertainment, and it doesn't cost you a dime because it's free. So, like, for me... I'm very outdoorsy. I like going out um, and hiking and stuff. And I think that's a fun, fun, <laughs> fun thing to do with friends. Or you can even just like come over to their, your friend's house and just have a board game night. I mean, it's just anything you can think of. Just be creative <laughs> um, and try to think outside the box um, when you want to hang out. And it's actually, it's a lot more fun if you are forced to kind of think of things um, that don't require spending money. Yeah. Um, something that you guys could do is something I do with my friends uh, is we grab our laptops, we go to someone's house, and play video games together. You mm. already have a laptop. <laughs> yeah, since you you're watching this, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. Um, but... 
Who knows? That could be the mystery prize. Just kidding. <gasps> oh, wait, what? Yeah. Oh, get excited, guys. Um, any other questions? Yeah. Any other questions? Let's pull to one look at the responses room. real quick. We still have lots of time, so feel free to ask more questions. Oh my God, these are moving really fast. Um, um, how about the, else? Hi, what? Oh, how about the other question that we saw? What if you don't really use social media? Ooh, that's mm. a, who wants to go? Um, well, <laughs> don't worry. Personally, it's not like you can't make friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, personally, I, I didn't have a phone till I was 16 years old, and it was kind of hard to call with my friends, especially since, you know, old landline was always taken up by someone. Um, so something I used to do is whenever I saw them, I would say like, hey, you know, do you want to hang out at this time? Just make sure you're there, communicate, um, and stuff like that. So you could always just like talk to them in person when you do, or... Um, if you're not really on social media, uh, one way that I keep in touch with one of my friends, uh, she's actually in Malaysia, and she doesn't really use social media, I email her, as weird as that sounds. And I do get notifications, just like a text message on my phone, where I can just email back right away. So. Dang. Old school. Well, yeah. Um, I think if you don't use social media, that's actually uh, kind of a good thing. It forces you to really make that commitment because you won't be able to really talk to them on a regular basis, like constantly, like everybody else does. Um, so just finding, like that gives you more of an incentive to go out and be with this, this person. And I think that will deepen your relationship or your friendship even more. <laughs> um, and so yeah, it's not impossible. And I think we should all learn to kind of disconnect a little bit too. Okay. Um, um, there, was an, huh? uh, there was another question I really liked, but do you guys, do you guys mind? Huh? Go ahead. Whatever you'd like. Okay. So someone said, while it's understandable that people want to be with their close friends at all times, especially when they're long distance, clicks at district events can be a huge problem that interferes with one of our tenants' fellowship. What do you think could help this? <clears throat> well, uh, the reason why there's clicks is because no one likes to go out of their comfort zone. And um, personally, something that I've learned about comfort zones is if you never step out, then you're never going to move forward. Because if you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to keep getting what you're getting. So um, you should really just step out of your comfort zone and talk to someone new. Um, just really make that effort to make that new friend and um, mingle with each other, I guess. Or, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I mean, um, I think, again, like we were saying before, district events are a really great way to meet people. And so you should, so everybody, whether you're new a new member or you're an older member, um, we should all use these events to our advantage to really go out of our little bubble and meet new people. And especially for those older members, uh, I would encourage you to reach out to those newer members and make them feel welcome. Um, and so we can prevent clicks from happening because we definitely want to be able to intermingle with everybody and make everyone feel welcome. So, um, you know, clicks are natural, uh, but yeah, we definitely want to break those boundaries and work on meeting everyone and all that. So anything else you guys want to add? Um, no, I mean, if someone wants to ask a question in the chat, this would be the um, perfect time to oh, do yeah, so. There's a lot of questions. Somebody, I saw one earlier. Okay, I like this one from Jared. How do I balance school, friends, and Circle K? Oh, who wants to take that? Oh, okay, I got I, I think I got it. Um, oh, girl, go for it. So currently, I'm a bio major, and I am I'm also working and I also have like friends and family so then um 
how to balance everything is that you yeah circle k will be your friends i mean majority of the times everything will just like like um merge together and so like that's it kind of works out but then if you have friends outside of circle k make sure you don't forget about them make sure you do make time and like um and like hey i want to spend time with you or even invite them to go to like events and then convert them you know <laughs> <laughs> right yeah um you know what i say to that is just again it's all about setting boundaries and knowing your, your priorities um but don't overwork yourself too hard and if you feel more overwhelmed with like circle k getting in the way of your school or your friends getting in the way of your school um definitely make make a note to just uh kind of lower those priorities and obviously we're all students so school should be at kind of at the top of your list um but again yeah circle k is a good i think it's a good balance because we understand that we want to succeed in school but at the same time we're really good at you know socializing and being there for each other so i think just kind of hold on to circle k <laughs> for you um but just know yourself for that and be strong and <laughs> don't don't give into peer pressure Okay, I have an incoming call from someone. Ooh, let's Ooh. take a call. And Hello. Oh. Who is okay. this? Um, I prefer to be anonymous. Okay. So I really like the webinar so far, okay. but I was wondering, um, are we allowed to ask questions about like our current problems? Um, if we have issues, yeah. we don't know how to solve them. Sure, um, we're open to that. Okay, so I just like have this friend, right? And we have been friends for like a while. But, um, and so I thought we were close to stuff, but I, I think like over like recently, I'm starting to realize, or at least I think that she's deciding that she doesn't like me anymore. You know, like she doesn't want to be my friend because she's like listening to stuff and stuff. And so do I just like accept it or do I like try harder? Oh, that's a good question. Sh um, who wants to take that? Oh, my God. Um, oh. well, um, <laughs> well, we appreciate your question. So thank you for trusting us with this. Uh, kind of to reiterate for everybody out there so we have a person that is kind of struggling with a friendship and um kind of wants to go beyond the friend zone um but she isn't reciprocating that so she is so he is wondering um you know would it be okay to kind of go further and uh, try a little harder or just kind of accept it and be her friend Okay, yeah. there's like, there are some reasons where some people um, say that you guys are pretty close. I'm assuming that you guys are pretty close. Um, that you guys have like that whole relationship going on and sometimes feelings go one way or the other. And like I said, like, it's totally okay to stay in the friend zone and to just um, respect boundaries of people. And um, if if um it's bothering you you should definitely like address it like address it with a person like like have a one on one talk with them it's like hey i i think that um i'm having these types of feelings for you and if they don't and if they don't reciprocate but then they still want to be friends keep that friendship going i'm pretty sure that they care about you as a friend it's something that it it, it just happens that way sometimes been there than that. I, I know oh, how you feel. No. Wait, okay, no. I don't want to go outside the friend zone. Oh. I'm just I'm concerned that she just 
doesn't want to be my friend anymore in general. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Josephine. Um, that's what I heard. <laughs> okay. Um. Um. Well, if she doesn't. Well, if she doesn't yeah. want to be your friend anymore, then um, still try to make the friendship work. But if it's going to be like that, then like in in my opinion, like what well, Rosa, some people are just really busy. But then, um, just kind of like figure out how to mend this friendship. And if it's like unmendable, then sometimes it happens that way. Yeah, but I would just mm -hmm. kind of talk to them and see what's wrong and try to figure out what the problem is and work towards the solution because it does suck to lose a friend and I've definitely been there. Um, but like Charlene said, um, sometimes you kind of have to let people go um, if that's the case and kind of work on yourself maybe. Um, everything's a learning experience so whatever happens you can definitely learn from it and um, use it for good. Um, okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Anytime. Thank you. Thank you for calling in. If you have more questions, bye bye. Okay, goodbye. Bye. Um, so maybe just how many more? Maybe like two more questions. Yeah, maybe two more questions because it's almost ten. <laughs> Yeah, and after this, we'll be announcing our giveaway winner. Yes. Um, so who wants to read that really long question? Okay. So this Anon, um, he said, or he, she said, um, I have friends in my club and we're really friendly whenever we see each other, but none of them ever hit me up to hang out. They tell me I'm their friend, but they always hang out with other people instead. I don't usually hit them up to hang out because I noticed that they originally chose not to not hang out with me. So I got paranoid that if I hit them up, they might be obliged to say okay without really wanting to. But when I confront them and ask for their honest opinion of me and our friendship, they say that I'm a friend to them and they're not trying to exclude me. What should I do? Oh. Hmm. If any of you guys have like advice as well, um, put that on the comments. Yes, that's for sure. We're just trying to facilitate a conversation. So if there's anything that we don't go over um, that you guys would like to share, definitely um, uh, submit uh, your responses as well. Yes. Because um, disclaimer, we don't, we are, we are not friendship experts. We, we, we just um, have good friends. Yeah, yeah, we just happen we to be appreciate good friends. This. Um, so, let's see. I'm going to reread this again. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, okay, so... Honestly, in that situation... I would, um, if it doesn't seem like they're trying to hang out with me, um, even though they're, if they're not being sincere, like to you, it doesn't seem sincere, then um, I would try to find other people to talk to. And there's always someone um, that's willing to talk to you um, as well. And I just would keep trying to look for those people um, even though it's hard, uh, and just find someone that you can trust to talk about this with you too, and help you out um, in your setting. But definitely know that you're not alone, <laughs> and that this is something that a lot of people do struggle with, that I've struggled with personally as well. Um, <laughs> so you're not alone. And you can always hit us up too after this. Um, if yeah. you want to talk more. Yes. Yeah. So, um, should we take one more question? Um, actually, I think we're running low on time. We're, okay, so that'll be it for now. So, May, do you want to yeah. pick okay. a winner? 
Uh, so let me just grab all these names real quick. Ooh, look at all these people. Um, look at all these people. So I'm gonna just put them here. Oops. <laughs> Did <I'm... laughs> Hi. Uh, so yeah. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I was playing with that earlier, so um, excuse that. And then I will just okay. put this here. And then the last oh, one. Oh, also, if you guys shared the event page, um, I have your the name. hashtag. We're taking the posts that we saw that were public um, because we aren't friends with everyone. So we may not have seen your post. But um, yeah, so this is how we're doing. OK, so this is everyone. Um, you guys ready? Tell me when to yeah. click. Okay, let's go. <laughs> go. One, two, three. Oh, Tiffany Hong. <gasps> Congratulations. Tiffany um, so please hit up the one of the three of us. Uh, if you don't know us, then um, just add us on Facebook. Message us. So Message us or something. Prize. Yeah. And tell us which one you would like to pick: the Starbucks gift card or the mystery prize. Yes, look at all these names though. Yeah, thank you guys so much for attending. This was so much bigger than we thought it'd be. <laughs> yeah. Um but yay, yay Tiffany! <laughs> yes, um happy for you. Yes. All right, so again, if there's anything that we didn't cover that you guys have more input to say, don't be afraid to share um and you know, converse with each other. Yes. This is the point of that. So thank you for attending. Um, and if you guys would like to talk to us, uh, you could always look us up on Facebook or something. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, we're definitely open to on Instagram. Making more friends. <laughs> you can join our Hangouts calls. <laughs> yes. Fun. And hopefully we will see you guys at district events. Yes. Um, coming up. Go to FTC. <laughs> yes, and be an SAA to support Josephine here. Oh, yes. Yes. The most go to Good Oasis, UNLV's March Melody, um, <laughs> Serenade. <laughs> Come. Yes. See me sing. I'll be <laughs> and help. Go to Capital CCM this Saturday. <laughs> go to Go West. Okay. Go, go to everything. <laughs> and maybe you'll see us. Yes. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Okay, thank you guys. All right, bye everybody. Thank you for your questions. Mm -hmm. Bye thank guys. You guys. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.